Hello guys, it's Santa Cliff here and today I'm going to eat some out of date festive vegetarian rolls. These are basically sausage rolls but vegetarian versions if you like. Okay, um, so they're not sausage rolls but they're like some sort of vegetarian rolls, okay? I'm not currently vegetarian although I do respect um, what they're trying to achieve um, and it says there are three varieties cheddar and caramelized red onion chutney roasted mushroom soft cheese and chopped chestnuts and the other variety is free mature cheddar and sweet cranberry sauce now cranberry sauce is traditionally provided with almost everything at Christmas I don't know why they, it seems to be something that's brought out at Christmas and then never really used for the rest of the year I'm now um, it's currently dated it is dated the 27th of December that was the expiry date um, it is currently the 4th of um, January and today there's a news story on the BBC News website that says Will Smith surprises Guinea student who biked across Africa. I couldn't possibly have known that um, at the time when so that proves that this was actually is actually out of date. Okay, now it says Tesco finest, which means that's the um, expensive most expensive um, version of things like this they have they traditionally had three ranges finest which is the luxury range um, normal and the um, budget range which I used to call value but now they've just used strange um, brand names for it instead and I say you can eat this hot or cold I'm going to eat them cold just because it's easy to do it on camera and I might try them hot later in my own time um, um, I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere it said you keep them hot or cold. Um, I can never find things I really, really, really want to, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm going to wait in cold anyway. I'm going to assume that it's okay. I do remember somewhere I saw can be eaten hot or cold, and I can never fight when I want to. Yeah, oh yes, I found it here. It says eat hot or cold. So I'm going to eat it cold, okay? I'm not going to open the packet. Um, and they put it in this nice little box, which means I'll never be able to get it back in the plastic bag again, unfortunately. Realistically, I might be able to, but it's always a pig to do this. But never mind, I've got enough bags I can put things into. And each one across the top, each one horizontally is a different um, variety. So um, I'm going to start with the one in the middle just because it's absolutely falling to pieces. And um, the cranberry one's easy to spot, I think. Um, This looks like it might be the mushrooms, so yeah, so this one looks like it might be the mushrooms, okay? So it's falling to pieces so you can see what's inside. This one is I don't think I've had these before. And this is I believe roasted mushroom, soft cheese and chopped chestnuts. Okay? <laughs> I 
Um, yes, I can taste something. I'm not quite sure what. Um, I'm not an expert on chestnuts, so I can't really comment, but... Very strange. I, won't, I can't describe it, but it's very, very, very juicy, which is surprising. Um, it's very, very moist, very juicy. Not what I was expecting at all, to be honest. Um, it might be because I've mentioned soft cheese. It might be because some, there's some soft cheese in there. Because soft cheese generally makes it very juicy, OK? Um, um, that would be why. Um, hard to describe the taste because it doesn't, I'm not sure it tastes like mushrooms really. Um, it just tastes of juiciness really. It just tastes of juiciness but I couldn't really put my finger on what. Okay? Um, I can definitely taste it, it sounds, tastes like a very juicy version of a cheese roll, okay? Because often cheese rolls are very savoury and a bit dry. This is extremely juicy, I think, so... Okay, now... The next one I'm going to try is the first one. I said I got the middle one. Normally I wouldn't have done it in this order, but I did because it's falling apart. So, this is the next one I'm going to try, which is the what would be normally the first one. And this is cheddar and caramelised red onion chutney. And that's this. If I break it open carefully, that's what it looks like. And I go to lift the top off. Now the top has come off, so it's easy to take the top off. You wouldn't normally do this if I'm doing it to show you for the camera. Put the um, pastry back on. And you know, it also says flaky and buttery on this. I'll go look at what's on the back. Um, yeah, <laughs> and they all use all butter, they all use all um, butter puff pastry. So, all three of them are using all butter puff pastry. This one seems much more savoury and dry. So, this is more of what I expect from cheese roll. Very savoury, quite dry. Unlike the other one, which is very juicy and didn't seem quite such a like cheese um, one. And it can taste bits of onion, but not so much, but yes. So, this is more what I expect from a cheese roll, okay? This seems almost like a standard cheese roll, but I can tell I've put some onion in it. Um, true story. A while back once when I was in Tesco, they had um, three samples available of double grossed chives and onion. Or uh, something like that. Um, I didn't think I'd like it. And this sounds a bit too weird to me. Until I actually had it. And I was very surprised and after that for a while I bought it. And if I hadn't had the free sample, I would probably never have considered it. To be honest, it didn't sound appealing, but I was quite surprised when I actually tried it, okay? I think that's the only time ever um, a free sample has worked on me. Well, I've bought them, I wouldn't normally have bought them because I got a free sample and then turned out to like them I didn't think I'd like. Yes, it's actually just. 
difficult very savage as well and I think it's quite similar to the I think it's double cross the onion sides I believe um, cheese. but this is not double cross so this is supposed to be cheddar but there you go No, so I've double checked, I haven't made it up, I know I haven't, but I just want to double check that reunion part. And yes, I do have them in double cross your cheese and um, onion chives. So yes, it's, I've definitely got it. Um, and I was pretty sorry, I said, I just wanted to be double sore, you know. I don't know why I was even doubting myself, to be honest. But there you go. Doubting me, I wasn't 100% sure about the union, but I, I was right. And the last one, I mean, obviously there's nine here. There's nine in the pack. But it's basically three, but there's only three varieties. So there's no point in me having all nine. I'll have the rest another day. And so this is the final variety which is mature cheddar and sweet cranberry sauce. Mm. And I'm not sure if I've said this before, but I also bought these, um, Oh, it's on the back. It's on the back of the plastic bag. Okay? I have to take my word for it. This is the actual plastic bag. You have to take my word for it, right? But you can see it fits. And also, I know for sure if you looked at where I was early, it had 27th of December on it. And they actually print the 27th of December on the bag. So, <laughs> it's actually printed on the bag. And on the back. So you can you can check because it's the same day. Okay, they don't actually put it on the cardboard, so I'm surprised. But it's probably to print it on the. I would thought they used to print it on the cardboard, but they actually print it on the bags. So and on the back and the wrap, the plastic wrapping, whatever you want to call it. Normally, this would have been four pounds, but because it was about to expire the same day. I got it for one pound six instead of four pound. I know this is luxury pricing, but it was Christmas, okay? And I originally got these for Christmas, but I haven't quite got round to it for various reasons, so I'm having them now. And it's still around Christmas time-ish. I mean, you know, it's it's New Year now. I know that it's around, it's around the kind of time when. Um, anyway, let's try the cranberry. So I said I've I've <laughs> just checking. So this is the cranberry. Oh, I am eating some of it, yes. Um, no, again, I'm just I'm mostly tasty there, yeah, so I haven't helped. Um, no, again, this one is much more juicy. It's probably because of the cranberries. It's a quite juicy. Um, And they're supposed to have matured cheddar. I can taste some matured cheddar, but I think it's mostly, I'm getting most of the juiciness in the cranberries. Um, so, when you say cranberry sauce is often um, associated with Christmas here, and we're often available to buy it around Christmas time and after Christmas, you don't see cranberry sauce on practically anything. This is something you also see on a lot of packaged food, um, you know, 
we've got to have something with cranberry sauce in a packet and some sauce and things like that. But there you go. And now I've got six left, so I'm going to try and see if I can put it back in the um, plastic bag. I'll call it a bag for simplicity. Um, yes, I've looked like I managed to do it. I've got it round the wrong way, so I'm going to rotate it a bit. Oh, did not help. Okay, I've got it this time. Right, wait. Wait, so then you'll see in a minute that the um. I'm going to see in a minute, look, that the use by date does line up, and if I move it, <laughs> move the bag, you can see it's moving the use by date. Okay, so there you go, guys. Festive vegetarian roll selection pack. Tesco okay thanks for watching guys bye